Hello everyone. Welcome back to Michelle's Medicinal Marijuana. I am here in the beautiful British Columbia Great Outdoors, coming to you with pot and politics. Thank you all for watching. I recently met Mr. Michael Ignatioff, who might just become Canada's next Prime Minister. And I had an opportunity to meet him personally and ask him if he and his party would protect the medicinal and responsible recreational users of Canada for cannabis. I also gave him a medicinal cannabis education package. He told me that we'd have to review it and he would get back to me. I also had another encounter with Mr. Michael Ignatioff by radio and also by newspaper. He has not quite answered me personally, but he has answered Canadians by allowing one of his MPs, Dr. Keith Martin from Esquimalt here in British Columbia, to propose a new bill that would see 30 grams and two plants decriminalized. That's right, 30 grams and two plants. Now, I am in support of this, but it's decriminalization. It's not legalization. This is a baby step, an offering of sorts, by someone who could be potentially our next Prime Minister. And I thank him for that, but I really, really do want my question answered, Mr. Michael Ignatioff. Will you protect Canadians when you become Prime Minister of this country from being prosecuted for marijuana use? That's something you're going to have to think about, because every single day in Canada, the U.S., in Mexico, and I think I can name a few more countries here, but I won't. Marijuana is being talked about. Pot is being talked about. Cannabis is being talked about. This is on the minds of so many people now. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger has decided to pull his head out of his Terminator self and talk about pot. That just may take California out of its rising deficit. We need to do the same thing here in Canada. For God's sakes, we could do so much with that taxable, taxable money. Think about it. If there's billions, billions and billions of dollars being made on marijuana right now, illegally, yes, illegally in North America and in Mexico, consider where that money could go. Back into health care, back into education, we don't have to raise taxes. We could lower taxes for God's sakes. Look at Pfizer in the U.S. has offered women, children, and men free pharmaceuticals for the ones who have lost their jobs. That's very kind and very compassionate. There's 70 pharmaceuticals that are being offered. One of them, of course, is Viagra. We wouldn't want anybody, anybody to have erectile dysfunction in an economic crisis now, would we? And we'd want to keep all our customers loyal. But they also get a tax write-off. And Pfizer, I suggest to you, with that tax write-off money, why don't you pay off some of the debt that these people have incurred from their health care costs in the U.S.? Well, something else I want to tell you about that I'm really, 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 really excited about. There's a magazine called Zoomer. It originally was CARP, Canadian Association for Retirement Persons. And now, a friend of mine has taken it over, and I have a fantastic two-page article in this edition, June edition of Zoomer, called The Pot Option, discussing the medicinal benefits for, yes, a senior generation. Now, it's vitally important that we talk to our parents and our grandparents, who, yes, are all over the age of 55 by now, about alternative medicine because those are the ones that are on a daily basis, most of them are taking a high volume of pharmaceuticals and spending a tremendous amount of money. We need to offer solutions, we need to offer alternatives, and we need to offer options, and I'm so proud to have been published in a magazine geared to that generation. And that's Robert Kennedy Jr. on the cover. There's also a website called zoomer.ca. I'd have a look at that for all you aging North Americans out there. Please help get cannabis legal. I've been asking this for a decade.
decade, a decade. I've been suffering from Crohn's disease for 17, 20 years now. I've had this cancer situation happen. I've still got, you know, nerve problems going on. But I've been healing nicely thanks to, of course, a proactive lifestyle of exercise, vitamins, healthy diet, and, of course, good, clean cannabis. Write your letters to your MPs, which are members of Parliament. Write your letters to the members of the Legislative Assembly. After how many people just got voted in here in B.C., we have to hold them accountable for their actions, as well in every other country. Our politicians work for us. And we have to make them work for us. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the great outdoors. And love you all. Give it up. What's wrong with you? Time to tough. Haven't got a dime to spend.